All right, what's up, boys? Today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to do uh, Faceway's top three most protective retake that he never showed you before. Uh, I'm gonna break it down, but like, first, what you wanna do is um, make sure you're double ramping. Well, you don't actually have to be double ramping. I don't think so. No, nah, you don't have to be double ramping. But um, trying to like your right analog stick, try to go in a circular motion when you do this. Let's just let's just double ramp just like based on the scenario. So we're double ramping, right? and your opponent's on this side and all you want to do have your walls out and go in a c motion c motion like this with your um walls and then put a stair just like that protect it from all angles right here so it, it works better when you're double ramping because like when you're double ramping you don't have to put that extra wall you can just go like that without putting the wall you can just have a stair protecting you and you can just edit out but yeah if you don't if you don't want to then just single ramp just make sure you put that back wall you gotta like you gotta do it further out like a wider C so yeah just do that that's not really the retake it's just a part of the retakes that he does but like I have a lot of people asking me how to do that that one protective thing that I always do which is this yeah that's that's how you do it just make sure your analog stick is in going in a C motion and then put a, uh, a stair above you and you can edit out you can attach, do it again, edit, and then attach, do it again. And yeah, you just keep doing that. It looks kind of trippy, but yeah. That's like one of the first main things that you want to do if you want to do most of these retakes, but yeah. All right, so once you learn how to do that, that one move, all you got to do is when you're double ramping, make sure you have a pyramid, or you don't really have to put a pyramid. Just I just like to do it just to be more protective. You kind of just jump to the side and in a C motion, you turn in a C motion and make sure you put this bottom bottom floor so you can catch yourself with a stair afterwards and you'll be propped up like this. You can edit out, can do it again, do it in different directions this time, like like that. Just make sure you're always in a C motion. It's just how you do it. You just practice that and it's really easy. Just do this multiple times yeah so which brings me to my next one what sway does most of the time he like after he does this he combos up really good so after he does the regular one he'll be on this side and he'll like turn again like this he'll be protected 24 7 then he would go put a pyramid stair for stair like this so what you want to do i'm gonna do it in slow hold up this is what he does there's a little C motion with all the walls stare. He's on this side. He's not in the middle. He's mainly on this side after he does it. So he can just put a pyramid and curve like that. It's really it's really simple. And then he puts another pyramid. And then stare floor stare like this. He either he either edits it and does it again. Or he edits it and just does a different combination like like a regular stair for stair but usually when he does a stair for stair he does like he covers himself with walls like this so like he's really protected 24 7 like no matter what he's always protected so when you're doing a stair for stair you just surround yourself with walls kind of like this watch stair and then before he puts the floor he puts walls so kind of like walls like this and then edits out, and then the next thing he'll probably do is this right here. Just different com different variations. So, yeah. All right. Another combo that he likes to do is when he's double ramping, he'll edit. He'll put a floor in a pyramid first, then he'll edit these two. And then after he does that, he'll catch himself. Well, he he won't catch himself. He'll put a wall right here, pyramid. He'll hold the pyramids, and manages to put a cone right here. Or all around like this and he'll basically just wrap around with walls and a stair like this so it's kind of protective all the time and then when he wants to keep going he can either edit put a put a wall and edit out and then go like this or whatever he does or he does this catches himself all the cones this he puts a, a floor right here so he can just double edit again and literally just repeat the same thing 
I haven't really like mastered doing this, but I'm trying. So yeah, that's what he does in slow. So I'll do it one more time. He'll double edit, catch himself, pyramids, catch, edit, and yeah, pretty much like that. Then he'll just keep comboing up. He just keeps doing that. And like, just look from this angle, it's like insane. Just this is all you, <laughs> this is all you're gonna see, literally. Just just going up. All right. Anyways, the last retake I wanted to show you guys. How much was that? That was that was about three. This is gonna be like the third one, because this isn't really a retake. Wait, hold up, we're at max. This right here that I'm showing you. This isn't really a retake. It's just how he does. I'm just showing you how to do that certain move. So yeah, this is the third one. So it involves the same thing I just showed you. So after this, he'll do this. And there's two ways he'll do this. He'll um edit, he'll put a stair, a wall, and a floor like this. So after he does that, he'll edit and quickly put this floor and a stair in the wall. And the way he side hops, he either, he holds himself with walls. So like He'll go like that, he'll jump and put a stair right behind him so he can't get shot and just go out. Just like that. It's like a, a little quick side hop he does. So like, when as soon as you hit the floor, you wanna put a stair so you're protected. People tend to shoot you right here, so like, just make sure when you're like this, expose, just quickly put a stair like that. And like, another way he does it, if he's feeling really protective, just go like this catch himself like this and he'll like 360 uh 360 um side hop and then put a wall and edit out it's kind of like it's kind of like he's tunneling but like he does it once so yeah like that edit yeah pretty much you can just keep keep doing that it's pretty simple so yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, if this guys help, if this helped you out, this is the video we're looking for all the retakes. Make sure you drop a sub. Um, right now the, uh, the subs, like the people non-subscribed is like the percentage is kind of like more than the people who are subscribed watching the video. So if you're not subbed watching the video, make sure you hit the sub button, like up the video if you haven't. And if you want to see more videos like this, turn on your post notifications. I always, I always upload videos and I stream daily at nine o'clock. So. Make sure you guys turn on your notifications if you haven't already. And one more thing. Make sure you guys are using code Ray Dash Jersey in the Fortnite item shop. If you want to support me, like, if you've been watching my videos, if you enjoy my videos, make sure you use that code. It really helps me out. So, um, if you could use that code, I'll appreciate it. Just send me, um, pictures and stuff for you guys using my code. And I'll, like, I'll either follow you or put you in a new video. That's, that's something I'm going to start doing. If you use my code, just send it to me on Twitter, which is right here on the screen. Just uh, at me using my code and I'll either put you in a video or I'll follow you back on the Twitter. So yeah, peace.